Pfizer-Moderna-Sinovac's vaccine for 25 million. The key thing is don't be inhaling, don't be ingesting, don't be sucking particles into your body that could get the radiation inside. All right, we got to run. Look at this, look at this. Um, first, your advice is stay inside, don't drink or eat anything. Many of the themes that are promoted on the Fox News channel have to do with generating fear whether that's fear of immigration, a fear of sexual difference, a fear of racial difference. When you pander to fear, it, it's a great motivator and organizer. You've got to keep people alarmed. They really love this sense of fear and danger, even when it's not there. And so when something is actually dangerous, as some things are, uh, they go completely overboard. And every, all sense of perspective is lost, so that anthrax, which I guess affected four or five people adversely, no question about it, is far more dangerous than, you know, the poisoning of our air. The way we deal with them is the way President Bush is dealing with them. You cordon the area, you search for them, and you shoot them. The motivator is fear, and then the payoff is, you know, we're going to go out and kill the bad guys. And, you know, you, you, it's a very simple black and white world that they uh, paint and portray. Terrorism has become the all-purpose fear and weapon because now everything is converted into trains, terrorism. Yeah. And of course, if you have a constant sense of unease, then you're going to look to the government to protect you. You're going to look to strong government. We've removed from power enemies of this country. We have made America more secure. There are these enemy out there. It's an ill-defined enemy, but as long as we're fighting them and we're killing them and he's looking presidential, then nothing else again is discussed. What was interesting is in the climate of the Bush administration that much of that fear, the emotion, uh, was purposely misdirected by the right wing uh, into uh, the war in Iraq. The type of coverage Fox offers, and all of them offer, but Fox is probably the most pristine version, is completely consistent with Bush's um, with, with the strategy of the Bush administration, A, to uh, prevent discussion of things that are not going well, like, for instance, the economy or the Medicare bill. There's no doubt that the war against Iraq, a country that did not attack us, could only proceed based on fear. Tonight, it's a special two-hour block. War is my last choice, but the risk of doing nothing is even a worse option as far as I'm concerned. Dealing with Iraq, the president's war on terror. When will his military plans get put into action? We hope you depend on us for the truth because we're gonna report the situation in Iraq without an agenda or any ideological prejudice. Then you gotta take what comes. Not that we hate you, Martin Sheen, but that we may not wanna watch your television program anymore because we're identifying you with being against what we believe in. Americans, and indeed our foreign allies, who actively work against our military once the war is underway, will be considered enemies of the state by me. But first, are the Americans who went over to Baghdad to act as human shields? Well, are they more than just protesters? Are they traitors? So Harry Belafonte, he's at it again. He says the Bush administration is possessed of evil. As the Calypso King gone bonkers. We'll you, can, you have a right to say what you want, but we have a right Bill, not to Bill, buy your is. record. Just fair warning to you, Barbara Streisand, and others who see the world as you do. We don't want to demonize anyone, but anyone who hurts this country in a time like this, well... Let's just say you will be spotlighted. Certainly television and perhaps to an extent my station was intimidated by the administration and its foot soldiers at Fox News. And it did, in fact, put a climate of fear and self-censorship, in my view, in terms of, of the kind of broadcast work we did. The first rule of being a great propaganda system, and why our system is vastly superior to anything in the old Soviet Union, is not that people think they're being subject to propaganda. If people don't think that, they aren't looking for that, they're much easier to propagandize. And that's the genius of our media system, is a system of ideology, of control, compared to an authoritarian system. <laughs> Listen, we're making good progress in Iraq. Uh, sometimes it's hard to tell it when you listen to the filter. Tremendous progress in Iraq. All the kids are back at school. 10% more than when Saddam Hussein was there. There's 100% more fresh water. It's a fresh start for Iraqi athletes. So far, 2,500 schools have been renovated. Are Iraqis better off than they were one year ago? 
Yes, they are definitely better off. As these brave athletes look forward to making Olympic gold. I mean, there's so many positive developments. Fox has made a decision uh, to present the Iraq war as a success and as an ongoing success. The Baghdad Equestrian Club is open for business. And yes, you can play these ponies. It's the Iraq you don't hear about. Falling unemployment, rising wages, interest rates down, foreign investment up. Life for 95% of the Iraqis is already immeasurably better than it was under the decades of Saddam's rule. There's no question about that, and that's what's the least reported story over there. You go to the markets, they're thriving. Big, fat fish coming out of the Tigris and the Euphrates River. Young men in Baghdad blowing off steam with their cars. The guys gather to put their wheels through the paces once a week. Something they say they were not allowed to do under the old the regime. The senior producer told the two or three writers for her news hour, she told us, now just keep in mind it's all good. This is such a fair and balanced issue. Keep it positive. We've got to emphasize all the good that we're doing. She at that point made a reference to rebuilding schools, bringing democracy to Iraq. And then she said, see, big progress. You who for us. Things were actually at that point going quite badly. Many more American soldiers were dying each day, and God knows how many Iraqis. 277 U.S. soldiers have now died in Iraq, which means that, statistically speaking, U.S. soldiers have less of a chance of dying from all causes in Iraq than citizens have of being murdered in California, which is roughly the same geographical size. The people survey is interesting because you're looking at questions of, of basic true-false kind of factual nature. Did we find weapons of mass destruction in Iraq? These are very simple questions with very simple answers. And what the survey found was that the more likely you were to watch Fox News Channel, the more likely you were to have completely incorrect assumptions about these things. All the research shows a very high correlation in the case of Fox News uh, with people watching it uh, with having a very confused notion of the world on one hand, especially of foreign policy in the Middle East, and also being strongly supportive of the government in power. And this is an extraordinarily disturbing trend for the media. I mean, for any self-respecting journalist, if you're told the more people consume your media, the, the less they'll know about the subject and the more they'll support government policy. And that's, that's exactly the worst thing any journalist would ever want to hear or should want to hear. 